Step 1. Unpack the unit. Identify and verify that all parts are present. Step 2. Remove the Allen head cap screw from the base of the unit with the provided Allen wrench. Step 3. Remove the Allen head screw cap from the mast of the unit with the provided Allen wrench. Step 4. Install the mast into the base with the boom toward the front of the base. Step 5. Install and tighten the two Allen cap screws with the provided Allen wrench. The longer cap screw goes on top and the shorter cap screw goes on the bottom. Step 6. Remove the Allen cap screw from the upper and lower push handle posts with the Allen wrench provided. Step 7. Slide one of the push handles over the upper and lower parts. Make sure the holes line up. Step 8. Install and tighten one of the Allen cap screws that were removed in the upper and lower push handle posts. Repeat steps 7 and 8 for the other side. Step 9. Remove the small screw from mounting bracket. Step 10. Slide the control box on the lower bracket and install the small screw previously removed. Step 11. Line up the battery pack with the control box. Step 12. Pull up on the locking latch, release on the battery pack. Step 13. Push the battery pack over the upper bracket and release the locking latch to lock in place. Step 14. Verify that the emergency stop button is not pushed in. If the emergency stop button is pushed in, turn the button to reset it to the out position. The emergency stop button has to be in the out position for the lift to operate. Step 15. Insert the spreader bar into the receiver plate and depress the locking button. Continue to insert the spreader into the receiver plate until it locks into place. Step 16. Insert the cradle swivel pin and nylon washer into the cradle. Step 17. Install the nylon cover over the cradle swivel pin and line up the holes of both. Step 18. Align the holes of the cradle pin and cap with the holes in the U-bracket at the end of the boom. Insert the bolt through the holes. Step 19. Install the nut on the bolt and tighten. Step 20. Install the nut cap on the nut. Step 21. Align the tab on the plug of the hand control with the indent in the hand control socket. Step 22. The plug must be pushed in flush with the controller. If there is any difficulty when inserting the plug, a very small amount of petroleum jelly on the rubber O-ring is required. Step 23. Put the connector for the motor actuator cable into small round socket on the controller. Step 24. The plug must be pushed in flush with the controller. If there is any difficulty when inserting the plug, a very small amount of petroleum jelly on the rubber O-ring is required. Step 25. The lift is now fully assembled. Step 26. Charge the unit by plugging the charge cord into the controller and a wall socket. The amount of charge on the battery is indicated by the bar gauge on the front of the unit. The charger plug must be disconnected from the lift for the lift to work. Step 27. To spread or close the legs of the lift, 1. Pull back on the spreader bar and 2. Shift to the opposite side. Step 28. To operate the lift, use the up and down arrow on the hand control.